I have uh, replaced the main bearings with um, <coughs> from uh, these ones, uh, the OEM size, to uh, this size, which is uh, spherical double-sided uh, rolling bearings. And that uh, took care of uh, all the problems with the main bearings. These are lasting uh, perfectly and uh, they look like uh, brand new after uh, a couple of track days, so no problem there. But to uh, fit these, I had to let go of uh, the counter balancer because this is positioned on the side of the crank cheek and uh, the bearing was uh, sticking out too much, so I had to, uh, to let go of of the counterbalancer uh, because uh, I thought that uh, some of my uh, friends on uh, different forums uh, across the world has tried it with uh, success so I thought um, why not have it have a go but uh, that was um, difficult when uh, trying to do road racing with uh, with this machinery so I got uh, you know this is uh, <clears throat> the piston for the rear shock this uh, was severed off twice, I think, uh, and due to vibrations, and that is a common uh, illness with uh, supermono uh, bikes. Also, the the lower uh, fork uh, for the rear shock was also uh, vibrating um, and breaking off um, two times, and uh, <clears throat> all kinds of electrical wiring uh, brackets everything was uh, was falling apart uh, due to the vibrations and i tried uh, three different uh, balance ratios um, to to uh, dig out some material from from the crank and uh, putting it uh, putting it back and uh, and then more so with uh, heavy metal inserts D didn't do the trick nothing was uh, quite good enough so <clears throat> I decided to um, to put in another counterbalancer uh, in front of the engine, like uh, the classic position from Husabai, the earlier models. So uh, we have um, <clears throat> I have designed and had a good friend, a machine a counterbalancer with uh, to place uh, heavy metal inserts into because it's uh, kind of thin, there is not so much space in between the crank cheeks. So uh, to get uh, the full effect that I want, uh, I had to, to do it like this. <clears throat> this will be uh, geared from, um, uh, from the crank itself with a steel gear. Uh, and uh, that is uh, uh, going against this um, Bakelit uh, gear. Um, the reason for choosing uh, an organic material here is uh, so that this can run dry, so I don't have to put oil in uh, this space. Um, so, and uh, everything is supposed to be uh, put in uh, this extra housing, um, which also was the machine, like this. Uh, it will be positioned here in front. Um, the old uh, engine mounts will uh, not be possible to use anymore, so I have a machine, a new one here, which will incorporate some uh, rubber uh, so that uh, the engine can jump up and down a couple of tenths of millimeters here in front. That will ease the pain on the whole frame. I tried that before uh, in my previous bike and uh, that worked uh, super. The only flip side of that is when uh, the engine jumps up and down, stuff on the engine gets uh, maybe damaged from fatigue cracking. But uh, I hope with, uh, with a better uh, rebalance uh, that that won't be so severe. So, um, oh yes, and the narcissism gallops.
So now the casings for the counterbalancer are uh, fitted and uh, almost ready for uh, welding. So um, what we did uh, when machining was that uh, uh, we took out this uh, circular shape from the crankcase already so that it's uh, an easy fit to uh, align this and uh, we also have let go of uh, approximately one millimeter radially on uh, all the bearing seats so that once this is uh, welded we will uh, continue to do the machining once more and uh, finish off the seats for the for the, uh, for the bearings so um, well I haven't seen a Husabai engine looking quite like this before but um, there's the first time for everything just before uh, welding this together I put uh, one millimeter thick uh, sheet metal in between both uh, between the new pieces and the crankcase so that uh, I know that this will be uh, actually uh, properly aligned and, and uh, fitting as good as possible in the sealing surfaces as well so now it's uh, time to use uh, the heat gun and uh, see if we can uh, put some additional metal on it. Mm -hmm. 